So Donald Trump, uh, his former his former physician, Ronnie Jackson, who is now running for Congress, I think that's an important note. <laughs> uh, and was also he had to withdraw to the, uh, Trump's from Trump's nomination. Uh, he tried to get him to the head of the Department of Veterans Affairs, and he had a bunch of skeletons in his closet, allegedly having to do with drunkenness at work and miswritten prescriptions. That's a caveat to all say <laughs> that what he said about Donald Trump's diet and his attempts to make him healthier are amazingly amusing. So. The former White House physician, Dr. Ronnie L. Jackson, has described to the New York Times his plot to introduce more vegetables into President Donald Trump's junk food heavy diet. Jackson, who is campaigning to represent Texas's 13th congressional district, told the Times that before leaving his role or the role as Trump's physician, he had been determined to cut the president's weight by 10 to 15 pounds, possibly by introducing an exercise bike. Oh. Good luck with that. The exercise stuff never took off as much as I wanted it to, he said. But we were working on his diet. We were making the ice cream less accessible, hiding his ice cream. We were putting <laughs> cauliflower into the mashed potatoes. So like a child, he was allegedly <laughs> hiding vegetables in his mashed potatoes. I get it, mashed potatoes are my favorite food. If I could pick one food <laughs> that I would have to eat for the rest of my life, it would be mashed potatoes. Wow. Like a child. But I know that I have to have a goddamn salad for lunch. <laughs> Once, yeah. <laughs> one meal, greens, I got to do it. <laughs> Trump has not grasped that basic aspect of life, apparently, according to Ronnie Jackson, who is not the most, you know, yeah. the, the best source, I would say. There's a couple of ways, sorry, John. There's a couple of ways that you, um, this helped me out my mood, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple of ways that you try to bribe your kid, speaking of Mike Bloomberg and bribes, bribe your kid into eating vegetables if your kid is just not that type. You know, maybe you, mm -hmm. um, you'll do things like this. You'll tell them they'll get something else for it. Hey, if you finish your vegetables, you get an extra dollar in your allowance this week. Or uh, or even like if your kid is into fast food, maybe you'll make some fries in a different way or have something more healthy and put it in like a McDonald's box. I've done that. And it kind of works because it's all about the presentation. So like a fry container, but it's broccoli. <laughs> not necessarily broccoli, just like one stuff that you make at home rather than the kind there, because okay. it's just at least you've made it. Yeah. So there's the whole different ways because it's all about the packaging. I was like, listen, the kid, I have a kid obviously, and you're like, the, the kid may not know where it came from, but as long as it looks like it came from what he thinks is so awesome, then it'll work out. There's so many different ways. Hey, I I I I'll I'll charge a modest consulting fee, Dr. Jackson. <laughs> and make sure that I'll give you plenty of ideas to help show to make sure that you uh, that you get old Donnie back on the right diet, mm -hmm. ten to fifteen pounds. Hey, by the way, just eating some vegetables is not going to do it. Yeah. On top of the McDonald's and then the, the burgers and the fries constantly. Yeah. So look, I, I did a video about this at the day before earlier. I do want to be very clear. While we think it's funny, the humor is in the infantile behavior by Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. We I want to be very clear. We're not mocking his struggles with weight. Lots of people, lots of Americans struggle with that, including myself. I, I would say though, I think that he's being very honest here, honest enough that I have no doubt that he is going to be destroyed by Donald Trump. Uh -huh. And that like Donald Trump is not going to abide this sort of revelation from Ronnie Jackson. But he's also not being fully honest. Like we, we do have to, we, we have to try to be a little bit healthier to extend our lives. Like Donald Trump's a billionaire. He will get the best medical care like imaginable for his life. He can afford whatever the procedure is, he can afford it. All he has as a cap on his lifespan is how he treats his body, and he doesn't care to treat it better than he does. 10 to 15 pounds, let's be very honest. That is not, that's the, the skin on the problem for, <laughs> no, honestly, I have to lose more than 15 pounds, and I exercise regularly. He is being very kind to the president there. <laughs> and I'm just saying, again, this is about childish behavior from a powerful person that has all of the resources. He is effectively like, you know, Chris Pratt prepping for a Marvel movie. He's not like a regular working American that doesn't necessarily have the money for super healthy food, let alone the time yeah. to prepare healthy meals. Everything is made for him and handed to him, sometimes in a scam way, <laughs> but he can eat anything he wants. And he could be an example, like Michelle Obama was, for instance. For kids, this is what we have in the That's White communism, House. Communism or yeah. is it socialism? Wait. Both, Both. I don't know. Commun or is it Nazism. Communi <laughs> communism. Yeah. Right? Well, Look, I mean, I agree with you on, on all fronts there. My condolences are really to his current doctor, because Ronnie Jackson is his former doctor. 
now Trump's going to be the wiser and he's going to know <laughs> all the tricks that the doctors and chefs have been doing. So he's going to like look through his burger and be like, is this a piece of lettuce that you hid <laughs> under this mountain of ketchup? <laughs> How is that even possible? No, no, Donnie, that's just the new green burger from Burger King. Right. It's, yeah. It looks like lettuce, but it's, trust me, it's beef, bro. And it's beef. Have, have you had the Beyond and Impossible burgers? I have. They're good. That, I, I think they're good. I don't good. trust that coming from like any of those fast food places. I would trust, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? It's all gross anyway. So now it's plant based, but it's from Burger King. Oh man, it must be real healthy. <laughs> you don't have to get it from Burger King necessarily. Where? You make it yourself. I saw Dunkin' anyway, Donuts is doing real. it now yeah, too. Like, oh them. great. Yeah. That is the abode of quality. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts right there. Yes, yes. Um, and anyway. by the way, this is the one last point about Trump. Don't forget, he's the same guy who also thinks there's a certain amount of exercise if you do in your life, you'll die. Right, it's a finite so, amount of energy that's within your body. You can't use it up. You can't. You, 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 you don't. You want to preserve it by sitting down and eating burgers and fries. Yeah. yeah, don't use your energy, and if you get sick, wait till April. And then just drink <laughs> Alex Jones supplements, and you'll be completely exactly. fine. Exactly, brain fuel. <laughs> don't miss your chance to win a trip to Los Angeles and have dinner with Jank, John, and me. Just head to tyt.com/dinner in LA to register to win. Sign up for a free Aspiration Spend and Save account. Then you just register your eligibility and swipe your aspiration card daily on purchases to gain entries. Not only are you entering to win a trip to Los Angeles and dinner with TYT hosts, you're also not depositing your hard earned money into fossil fuel exploration or production. As a friendly reminder, even if you already have an aspiration account, you must still register for eligibility into the sweepstakes.